Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you know, when I do this thing, I'm really excited about a figure and actually want to talk about it. So welcome back. Uh, today we have Sabretooth Age of Apocalypse. I think I've been waiting and chomping at the bit for this for a very long time. I don't know if you have, but um, I definitely have because, you know, since they released uh, Wild Child, I was like, well, what is the point of Wild Child without the Age of Apocalypse um, Sabretooth? Because they could have just released him with the kind of Alpha Flight look, but no, they gave him a chain. So, yeah, I don't know what the thinking was there, but obviously, you know, it led to this, which is cool. Uh, the build of figure is Colossus. Um, all the, you know, as, as awesome as it looks, uh, I didn't really need another Colossus, but I'm really happy that Sabretooth, out of all of them, just came with a head, because that could be. I'm not really doing a lot of customs, but it's a good, you know, switch out for, you know, somebody else or maybe even the Colossus body. I don't know. I haven't tried that yet. Um, yeah, definitely. I think very sought after right now. Uh, I love how it looks already, how blocky and strong um, Sabretooth looks with the kind of Magneto accent there. Um, yeah, let's just move forward. So we got Age of Apocalypse label right there art wrap around we still have the you know the, the apocalypse theme going uh so yeah what we got here so magneto has no parts rogue has one cyclops has one saber tooth uh shadow cat iceman and uh legion i think legion was the only other one i wanted to get but you know that's neither good nor there i don't really need them and i don't really i don't know i'm not motivated to put this BAF together, BAF together. I mean, it looks cool, but I just don't need pirates, uh, pirate colossus. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Anyway, um, I really did want Sabretooth, uh, even though I'm not going to collect the rest of Age of, of Apocalypse. I really did like this look for Sabretooth, and um, I also like this extra head sculpt. So without further ado, let's crack him open. All right, here's Sabretooth out of the box. He looks beautiful uh, or handsome, depending on how you look at things. He stands at about... Uh, seven and three quarters. Probably standing up straight, he'll be seven and three quarters. Uh, next to the Marvel Select Sabretooth. A couple, uh, maybe half inch shorter. Uh, so like Sabretooth would be much taller if he was standing straight up, but um, this has been my, uh, let's say, textbook Sabretooth for, for my collection. And he stands at almost the same. Like if he was standing straight up, probably eight inches completely, but it's about seven, uh, seven three quarters also. So oh, got that comparison out of the way. We got, um, what does he come with, right? So he's got a hole in the back of his head and that's because he has ponytail options. So not a huge difference, just one is like feathered and one is uh, freshly conditioned. <laughs> I don't know how to, it's probably because we have two separate heads. So we got an angry head pops in I hope like so so angry head it's probably easier to put the head on without the ponytail that's why they are retractable or removable and then we got the shampooed hair also put that in like that Definitely gives him more of a pirate look. Uh, it comes with extra fists. You can see that, which have a hinge on them. One has like knuckle, like iron knuckles on them. One doesn't to match the motif of his hands. And of course the BAF build a figure, Age of Apocalypse, Pirate Colossus head right here 
which has a also a detachable bandana part. Goes in right there. Quite dramatic in the motion. That looks pretty cool. But again, not too excited about the figure myself, so I'm passing on the rest of them. Maybe I'll pick up Legion. I don't know. If you could see that very well. There we go. So, uh, let's take a look at some articulation, shall we? All right, here we go, articulation time. So we have shoulders that go up. It looks like there's one more click on this side, but it's not gonna go all the way. Uh, goes all, rotates all the way around. You got a bicep swivel like that. You got a single joint elbow, no double joint there. Um, we got a swivel and a hinge on the fist, which is pretty much the same on both. Uh, I'm not sure the body sculpt on this. It looks very familiar. I'm going to go with like either Wrecker or uh, Dozer, the bulldozer guy. And uh, it, it does suit Sabretooth for the Age of Apocalypse build. Um, you know, not as slim looking as the Select, but definitely heavy. It's actually pretty heavy, uh, which is good. Gives him a nice solid base. Gets down on his own. Don't worry about that. Um, oh yeah, head looks up all the way. The head, uh, the hair doesn't actually hinder it too much. Looks down pretty good. Is there some a uh, little bit of head tilt, but not a lot. Obviously, can go all the way around like that. This is pretty much removable. There's just like you know, in the let's say the backpack peg back here. You can take this off if you don't like that look. Um, of course, ab crunch. Got an extra set of abs up there. Got a hip twist or swivel. No ball joint, not like the GI Joes. Kicks all the way up. Double jointed knee. Goes about that far. Got a, did I get the thigh? Uh, cut. Yeah, there you go. Um, does he have a... Nope, no shin or calf cut there. Uh, that's solid all the way. Foot goes all the way up like that. Foot goes back like that. And you got a ball joint swivel pivot on the foot. So not bad considering. Um, I wish he had a shin cut, but that's neither here nor there. It still looks pretty spectacular. I think it's the best figure in this wave, and I, probably the, the one figure that every, <laughs> everyone really wants. I know I did. So there you go, articulation. Okay, and now the moment I've been waiting for, I don't know if everyone's been waiting for, how he looks like with Wild Child. So yeah, pretty good uh, scale difference. So Wild Child, it's a little bit shoulder shorter but you know with his legs fully extended let's see let's see if i can get him to stand stand up wild child so wild child stands at about six and a half if he's standing full which is a good scale for daddy saber tooth that's <laughs> holding his chain let's see if uh we can get this chain working here Booyah. Well, it took a little bit of work, but uh, I got the chain to fit within the palm of his hand. You gotta kind of pry his fingers open a little bit, but it's a perfect fit. So remove the fist and pry open the fingers. Perfect fit, as you can see. Looks pretty amazing. I'm, I'm actually quite surprised that they didn't do this as a two pack. Not, not that I've seen anyway as a, uh, you know, like a Marvel 
exclusive to X store or whatnot. Um, but it looks fabulous work worth every penny. Uh, if you can, if you can find it guys. Um, yeah, it took me a while, but I found one. Yeah. Really, really cool. I'm really happy. Uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. If you're going to go ahead and buy this, um, completion of your set here, get your, um, uh, saber tooth on. Uh, I love it. It looks great. I, I think the distance between the two releases might have affected the colors, but I, it's pretty spot on. Looks good to me. Uh, oh yeah, let's take a look at this uh, head replacement real quick. There you go, both, both going feral. Anyway, thanks again guys for joining me on this quick video. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe, leave any comments that you have if you're going to buy it or, you know, you're just going to skip it, skip this whole wave altogether. Um, it did come with this, so I'm going to play with this later and put them on other figures just to see what it looks like. Maybe, maybe even do a, um, uh, what's his name? Shoot, I'm already forgetting. The first Captain America. Isaiah Bradley. Um, I should know this. I apologize. I'll put it in the description. Anyway, guys, thanks again for joining me. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Um, try to post another video soon, but you know, my schedule isn't set or anything. I just do this when I can. So anyway, uh, thanks again for watching. Stay talkative and have a great day.